Hi everybody, this is Josh with Big Blue Designs. In this video, I want to show you a few tips in Photoshop. The first one is using clipping masks. And to show you this, I'm just going to create a little graphic. So I'm going to just select the ellipse tool from the vector shapes and create a circle. I can hold shift to constrain the proportion so I can create a perfect circle. And let's make this a blue color. I'm going to open up the layer styles and give it a gradient overlay. We'll go to radial and reverse that and put it on overlay. And let's bring the opacity of this layer style down, maybe even further. Then I'm going to push it toward the bottom just a little bit, right about there. Maybe give it a little bit more of that effect. Uh, and that's good enough for now. And then I'm going to create another ellipse. I'm going to draw it right inside of here, make it a little bit more oval shape, right up by the top. Take the fill all the way out, make it a white color so I know this is going to be my shine, and give it a gradient overlay with screen blending mode. And very quickly we get this sort of glossy orb look. I can add another shine in here, so I'm going to go ahead and create another ellipse. And this is where the clipping mask comes in very handy. I'm going to make it white, and then I'm going to give this whole thing a background using a rectangle. I'll just put that layer underneath everything. And let's give this a color that we can really see it stand out. So here you see this shape is on top of all of these and we only want it to show inside of the circle. So if I hold down Option or Alt and click in between these two layers, you see that you get that little icon with the arrow and the square and that will clip this inside of the shape underneath of it or whatever is in that layer. It will clip everything outside of that shape. So if I move this layer around now you see it's only affecting inside of that circle. So now I can do things like take the fill out, gradient overlay again, maybe put this on overlay. We can adjust it a little bit, take the opacity down, make it a little bit more subtle. Do some adjusting. And maybe duplicate that. I can just hold uh, Command and push J. I'm going to do the same thing, holding Option. We can clip it to the bottom layers. Okay, great. So I'm happy with that. I'm using my clipping mask to hide everything out here. I'm going to select all of these, hold Shift, select the last layer I want, and I'm going to put them in a group, Command G, rename that group. I'm just going to call it Orb, and then I'm going to convert it to smart object. Now watch when I hit command T. You see how this bounding box is around more than just the material that I want. What I can do is double click on the smart object. You see I have all of this transparent space because of those clipping masks. If I unclip them you can see where they are hitting the borders of my canvas. So what I can do is go to Image, Trim, and Trim Transparent Pixels. This will keep all the information that I want and get rid of all the information I don't want. I can just exit that smart object by hitting Command and W, closing that window. Yes, I want to save it. And now you can see that I can transform just my orb. This makes it a little easier too when you want to center it or align it with another object. So that's a great way of using clipping masks and smart objects. I'll show you more in videos to come. I'll see you later.